So the life review is considered to be one of the most transformative parts of the near-death experience, NDE. And for those of you who may not be familiar with it, just briefly, during the NDE, people report at some point sitting with their, what I call a spiritual support team, their angels, guides, master teachers, and of course, always and everywhere, the light. <clears throat> and they sit down in, in some sort of setting. It can vary. But let's say it's like sitting in front of a TV screen with a DVD player and you have the remote and you can watch your life then as in watching a, a movie. Now you can fast forward parts that you're not so proud of. You can replay or slow motion parts that you really rocked it. And this is um, not just passive observation. It's actively seeing, hearing, and feeling the results of your thoughts, words, and deeds, at least the highlights of those while you're on earth. Now be very clear, this is not punitive in any regard. Although, you know, somebody like Hitler, their life review is certainly would be hellish, um, but it's not foisted upon us by some vengeful, dictatorial big guy in the sky. It's an opportunity out of love to learn valuable lessons that then you take with you for the rest of eternity. You can also, during this life review, reprogram what you would do now that you know better. It helps you do better the next time. You know, practice makes perfect. So if you replayed, gosh, you know, if I could do that one over again, here's how I would do it. And if you make amends, you actually change the energy involved. So the next time that a similar situation arises, you'll um, take a higher path. And there's an inference in this work that you may actually be changing the energetic template of your history. Uh, that is what you replay when you are truly repented, you're, you really mean it. Once you uh, replay this, re-record what you would do, then that becomes in a very strong sense what you did so i think that's pretty cool and speaks uh, a lot about forgiveness you know like prodigal son and other stories uh, tell now this is interesting the aramaic language for heaven and hell both meant in part because those languages had layered meanings how you feel after your body dies as you look back upon your life the hebrew word mawet meant a passageway for a period of sorting out again after the body dies. So this similarity between ancient language meanings and many NDE reports suggests to me that we're barking up the right tree. You know, we're dealing with truth here. So very, very exciting. Now, Dr. Ken Ring, PhD, one of my heroes, early director, founder of IONS and University of Connecticut, professor emeritus, was an early pioneer in the NDE field. His books, Life at Death, Heading Toward Omega, Lessons from the Light and Mind Sight, were extremely valuable for me decades ago as I searched through the um, afterlife evidence to see, you know, is there really uh, afterlife or not? So if you've not already study this man's book, so knowledgeable, so loving, so caring, well, he was a guest on my radio show. I was a radio show host, a show called Solutions in 2000. And he shared his research with students and other subjects that he found using deep relaxation and visual imagery, the same sort of powerful transformative effects after this strongly imagined life review and found it to be quite similar to the results that people who nearly died reported, uh, which is huge. Uh, great news. Hello, you don't have to nearly die to have a life review and to benefit from these profound uh, improvements. And um, Dr. Ring gave me permission then to use this as I have done with probably thousands of people since then. Now, Again, the life review, the bottom line for this is it allows you to explore if my body were to die today, what would my life review be like? 
Now notice the accurate language by here, by, involved by the way. I don't say if you die today, you can't die. We know that very well. That's part of why this is very exciting now uh, because la as of last year, scientific definitive demonstrations of life after death were proven in a series of seven experiments led by Dr. Gary Schwartz at the University of Arizona's Laboratory for Advances in Consciousness and Health. So you can learn more about this at the website, soulphone.com. So we are holding off till later this year to use the P word, the proof word, but really life after death has been scientifically proven. We're waiting for all the multicenter studies to come in before officially announcing that. So that makes what we're doing here much more real. It will be a whole new age and a time to appreciate more these sort of transformative techniques that allow us to shine ourselves up so we can do what we came here to do, remember fully who we are, who walks beside us always. But then when we do pass on that life review and the next level of our experience will be so much more heavenly and, and less hellish. Uh, so experiencing this now, rather than after you pass, allows you to do the following before the real event. You can apologize, you can say you're sorry, you can make amends as appropriate, and you can do this whether the person is on earth or what we call post-material. You can make these amends in your heart. You can resolve to do better in the next time to improve your thoughts, words, and deeds. <clears throat> now, that, by the way, was the original meaning of the word repent. It meant say you're sorry, make amends as much as you can, and do better the next time. Very simple, but very, very powerful. Now, in addition to the full life review technique session, again, which we'll be doing about half of that here in a bit, you can do a three minute mini life review each evening. Here's how that works. You're, you know, you're all settled in, you close your eyes and you just quickly review. You can do it in a couple of minutes, your day. How, how did I do, you know, interacting with people? Was I positive? Was I loving? <clears throat> or there were times when I missed the mark, fell short. First of all, you can praise yourself for when you did well, when you took the high road. And this is very important because many people don't focus on what they did right. They just focus on what they did wrong or what they could have done better. Then for less than positive, thoughts, words, and deeds you had considered, how can I make amends if, if that's appropriate? And how can I do better the next time and visualize that happening? You know, if you didn't stop to uh, help the little lady across the street, then visualize yourself doing that. And again, that may become your new energetic template, your history. Now, to do that day in and day out in just a few minutes, helps keep you on track more so that your life that you end up living is the life that you meant to live, turning out to be the greatest life your dreams.